All right, boys and girls, we're finally here to how to write uh, rates as percent or what is a percent, okay? So basically a percent um, or is a rate per 100. So to write a, a percent is basically um, a part of 100. Um, so here we have on our first part of our note, so what is a percent? The definition is a part out of 100. So we write that as a fraction as X or Y or Z or whatever out of 100. And then as an example, we have 20% of 100 is 20 out of 100 or 20 one hundredths. Um, so, and I've taught you guys that um, when you see a number with a percent sign, that number can be written as a percent fraction of that number over 100. So here we have an example of sale, 20% off. Um, so what if we have 100, if it costs, let's just say it costs $100, we say what is 20% off? So um, we can say, well, it's, we can write it as a fraction as X over 100 and 20%, we write 20 over 100. And so 20% off would be $20 off of $100. So that means that you would take $20 off. So instead of $100, you would be paying $80. So 20% off would mean you take that amount off the price. So 20% of 100 is $20. So you take $20 off, you only pay 80 bucks. We like those sales. So here is that. You would save $20, because that's the percent off. So you take your $100, take away what you're saving, and main, means you pay 80 bucks. Okay, um, here's another example, 50%. Um, so to write that as a fraction, to write 50% as a fraction, you would put that number over 100 and then you can simplify it to a tenth, five tenths. You could also simplify it again even further to one half, which some of you can clearly see. Um, some of you might actually have to do the math to see it, but so 50 one hundredths can also be written as five tenths, okay? And then we can write it as a decimal, 50 cents, 5 tenths, 50 hundredths. Um, and we can write it as a ratio, 50 to 100 or 5 to 10. And we can model it. So here I have 10 squares and I've shaded 5 in. Um, it would be better to model the simplified percent ratio or percent fraction than the percent out of 100 because nobody wants to shade in 100 squares. Um, if you can't simplify it, because sometimes that's gonna happen, like if it's 47% off, can't simplify 47 over 100 because 47 is a prime number. But um, typically when we're dealing with percents, we don't really do I mean, when you're in the store seeing sales and things, you don't see like 27% off. It's usually 20%, 30%, 50%, 35%. So they're usually within numbers that way you can simplify. So um, then we have an example of 200%. What does 200% look like? Well, you still write that number over 100. And as you can see, that's two holes, okay? So 200% is double something, which is pretty cool. So if I had 200% of my students participating, I would have double the number of students participating because it's two to one. Um, if it's 300%, I would have triple, three to one. I would triple it, so. That's, so you can have um, percents that are more than one, or, and you can have percents that are less than the whole. So I want you guys to try these. Um, just practice three percents. Um, you're gonna 
write them as a fraction, as a decimal, as a ratio, and model them. So I have 15%, 22%, and 300%. So you're just gonna write it as a fraction, then write it as a decimal, and then um, write it as a ratio, and then see if you can model it. Um, this one right here, you're gonna wanna simplify it. Actually, all of them you will. So we'll see how you do.